Hey everyone, it's Dominique from Blogging in My Undies. Right now I'm at the playground with the A-Man and Loki for a little bit of bonding time. Uh, something I wanted to talk about today, which is, again, kind of controversial, uh, technology and kids. Um, as of maybe four months ago, the V-Man acquired an iPad. I got it secondhand online and... It's only the first generation, there's nothing fancy about it, it has only Wi-Fi, not that he cares, but um, the reason why we got him an iPad was to help keep him calm when we're out in public, especially at restaurants that require a bit of a wait time to eat or get the food, and then you can eat. Um, so he has an iPad, and it's mostly because my phone screen, I have an iPhone 4S, so the phone screen's too small for him to really do anything, and he's obsessed with pushing the button to escape, which of course is the same button on an iPad, but the screen's a lot bigger, you can download a lot more apps on it, and for him, he absolutely does not care about the apps whatsoever. But what he does like is because the phones and the iPad sync together, he's able to see photos that I've taken on my phone, they go on his iPad and he is happy as a pig in mud to just swipe through and uh, look at pictures from my phone that are automatically transferred every time I connect to Wi-Fi with my phone. So it's, I know a lot of parents, they're anti-iPad, they're anti-technology for their kids at a young age, but for us it was, you know, eat at McDonald's every time we go out with him or try somewhere different and much healthier if he has something to keep him occupied so he doesn't run away or scream, which usually happens. Um, if it's somewhere quick, like McDonald's or as of recently Subway, uh, he, he can wait about five minutes now. Five to ten minutes is his maximum limit for waiting for food. Um, All-you-can-eat buffets are ideal because he eats a lot for a five-year-old. And with the A-man, um, he doesn't know it yet, but he's going to be getting a Nintendo DS for Christmas, a used one, and some games, some children-friendly and educational games on it, because he didn't start speaking until he was about three. And I know that some family members on my husband's side were a bit slow to speak as well, but uh, ever since he started playing Fisher-Price apps on my phone, he started reciting the alphabet, reciting numbers in English, and uh, basic words like bread, juice, milk. So I think I'm pro, I would have to say I'm pro technology for kids. Not to say that, you know, kids should only be, you know, satisfied with their iPad or their tablet or their smartphones or parents' smartphones, you know. Um, they should definitely get out, get exercise, you know, go out and enjoy nature or the playground or swim, whatever they can do, but um, I have to say that technology has been nothing but a benefit for us, um, especially with one child who, the V-man, is autistic nonverbal, and the A-man, who is currently swinging here, which is what I'm doing, um, pushing him, uh, with a specific language impairment, recent diagnosis, so, you know, if you have a phone or a tablet and you're able to download Fisher-Price apps, I totally recommend it. It really helped him learn how to uh, tune up his finer motor skills. I mean, you wouldn't think that there's a lot of work involved with tapping and swiping, but some of these games are a little bit more specific in what you have to tap, and he's learned quite a bit about it, and also he's learned how to speak. So he's learned his ABCs. He doesn't know all of them, and he can't pronounce them properly, but he does repeat. Uh, the A-man does. He does repeat whenever he's watching the Fisher-Price apps. And um, he's also learning how to say basic words thanks to various educational apps. So I think, you know, technology is great for kids. I really don't know what they did, you know, back in the early 1900s before computers and technology and be well before internet and everything. Of course, you know, they were outdoors more and probably farming and stuff, but for now, I'd have to say technology works. Technology is awesome for our kids. You know, we try to limit the play. And um, I mentioned in a previous video about bonding, that the A-man has been bonding 
with the Hubster by playing Disney Infinity because he has certain characters that he absolutely loves, like Buzz Lightyear and uh, Woody from Toy Story. And the A-Man also enjoys Marvel characters, which are now part of Disney. Um, Iron Man, Captain America, the Hulk, all of those big Avenger guys, he really enjoys them. And he's learning to, I suppose, use better hand and eye coordination when playing video games. And also learning how to speak better. He can say fly, he can say run and jump now. And he couldn't say that before. Sometimes in Finnish, sometimes in English, very rarely. But now that he's been playing these games, and my husband's been trying to speak very slowly to him, very, very, very short sentences, like Iron Man run, Iron Man jump, Iron Man fly, you know. Um, it's been a huge help for him. So, I mean, we limit the play to about 15 minutes. And because SLI kids need the visual in their life, what they do uh, together is my husband has um, a timer, either on his phone or a kitchen dial one. And as soon as it buzzes or beeps on the phone, uh, that's it. Game's over. So he gets about 15 minutes a day uh, with the husband to play the video games. And he seems to understand that after the timer goes off, and it makes it starts shaking and vibrating and making its beeping or buzzing sounds, that it's over. So it's been a really good experience. We haven't had too many tantrums over this. It's a lot easier to have a timer that's visual for him as opposed to just saying, hey, we're done, because we're done. So that's our experience so far with technology. Um, the M girl, she's our youngest, she's almost two. And her big thing is just taking my phone and walking around being, hello, hello. And that's all she says is hello. So, otherwise she doesn't know how to use my phone or Game Boy or anything like that. Or video games. She just likes watching and taking the Disney Infinity characters off the pad. The electric pad. So, yeah. But that's pretty much it. And I will try and make another video later this weekend. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like what you're watching, please subscribe give me a thumbs up or check out my blog. Have a nice day. Bye!